on trainer with the teacher, but he summons the three man <laughs> students, you know, like. Anyway. We're getting right into the match. Nick no Roy time to talk. And Udi. Nick Roy, a tri point regular, I believe. And uh, Udi, an, a long standing member of the community. For sure, yeah. He's been here since, like, early Smash 4. Right. He been and his brother, Tingle. Yeah. Uh, I, are they twins? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, they're they're siblings. Yeah. That's all we know. Tingle's here. They're not twins. I think I think I think Tingle's, Tingle's a little. Yeah, oh well, we were in opposite direction. One anyway, <laughs> dash attack from Snake is yeah, a good move. Yeah. So yeah, Udi's actually been a Palu main since Smash Four. So he he lived a rough life and is now being rewarded for it. Right. Yeah. And when you stick by it, it's like okay. Yeah. He he did play Rob in that game too, but uh, now pretty much sticking with the Palu. Like if you main that character last game, I don't know why you wouldn't this game. Right. Like it's. Unless you literally just want to main a bad character. Your entire quality of life as a Palu main became so much better. Yeah, right. From this game, <laughs> or from last game to this game. And honestly, this is one of those matchups where, like, Palu can kind of make you uncomfortable, because, like, if you can't Palu, she doesn't care. Yeah, she is. She is. Oh, that wow. almost killed. Woo! Palu has good camp back tools, and then, like, good moves that can just kill you early. Like, whether it's off stage or just, like, an up air, like, high in the air. Or, like, a random, like, explosive flame, you know. Well, and like, also a kill confirm on ledge. So yeah, if you corner sure. yourself against her, oh yeah, for you're sure. You're actually like putting yourself in more danger. Like right now, if Nick Roy were to go to ledge and corner himself, he could. And like right now, himself. he's in a really bad spot too. I mean, he's not going too like hard up there with like up airs or anything. Like the explosive flames are good and safe. I like those. Okay, yeah. Landing on up tilt. Everybody gets one. It's just Everybody how it goes against Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful with these explosive flames. Though. They're yeah, really sure. laggy, and like if you just roll through it with a dash attack as good as Snake's, you're gonna punish. Yeah, no, I will say it's definitely... Okay, that was a little scary. It's definitely good against Snake, but uh, I feel like Udi is using it a bit too much. And especially at, like, way too close to the range. That was a good one right there, just to stop yeah, the sure. grenade. And it, like, blocks off a high recovery, too. Mm. Well, it's, when does Explosive Flame get killed, you know? I mean, I think it would kill him now, for sure. Well, Snake is thick, and it's his PS2. Yeah. So, like, I would have expected that to kill, but also good DI. Because typically you get caught really off guard by stuff like dash attack from Palutena, and that's why you for die sure, so early sure. to it, but... It's just such a good, like... Palutena's dash attack is actually just really good, because like the armor on it, and it's just like fast. A lot of range. Mm. It's just a good zone breaking tool. For sure. And good at like catching landings, too. Alright. All right. Snake! <laughs> I think we saw a taunt from Udi. Unless her idle animation, because she plays with her hair. <laughs> I really can't tell. He parried that one grenade, but I know he didn't mean to. He was on the platform, he didn't even know it was there. 27. Nick Roy's playing, like, at this, like, double jump height, and just, like, dropping grenades in, like, C4s. Well, this could be something big, though. Alright, I guess the run-up grab. I do like the I aggression. Up throws. Like, I feel like... I feel like, uh, if a snake's on the ground just pulling grenades, like, you should, you should just go for those grabs, because you can kind of, like, time your moves to not get hit by them. They won't interrupt your conversion if you know what you're doing. Uh, a couple of weird... Movements coming out from Nick yeah. Roy, both an Akita that I don't agree with, and a uh, forward smash that I don't agree with. But going out there, okay, up yeah, there, okay. yeah. I feel like a forward air might have killed at that like size, but he was under him, so yeah, it was kind of an awkward forward air to hit because he For dropped sure, yeah. off and then double jumped on. Good footstool with the Gimmer tech. Okay, is this gonna kill? Yes. Yeah, no mash. No, kind of... that won't kill. What in the world, Snake? Trying to catch a roll in, but uh, misspacing that bear. There. You gotta be really careful. He actually came really close to killing himself on that last C4. Alright, that was nicely aimed. And also, like, we, we've seen Udi stop doing the, uh, a ton of explosive flames. Yeah. And, like, we haven't really seen many auto reticles. And I think that's good, honestly. Like, sure, you can kind of out... Like, you can camp Snake back, but you can't really, like, out camp him. You don't win the camping war against yes, Snake. Yeah. It just doesn't happen. What? So, like, I, I knew it was a thing. It just wasn't the thing I expected to have happen. <laughs> Wild forward air there. I don't even know if he would have killed off that. I think that was just like a hey, guess what? Yeah, like I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's that's like a big mistake. You don't really want to. You don't want to put yourself in that much like lag when you're near C4. You just want to get away from C4 at all costs. He probably just didn't like realize where it was though. Yeah, honestly, on some maps it's a little harder to see than others, mm -hmm. and especially like if they drop like three explosives. Oh yeah, it's and then to drop the C4, yeah, and right, you're watching right. the explosions. You're trying to dodge something or recover. And then it's on the floor, and you like it stops going red, and you're like, oh well, you know that's there, and I and gotta hold that. Yeah, I do feel like when you're fighting a snake, though, like you have to be like really, like you have to know where the C4 is at all oh, times. Oh, you need though. to be cognizant of it yeah. for sure. 
Like, yeah, you gotta see, like, okay, it's on the platform now, like, I, I gotta stay around that platform. Like, then there you go. Like, and, and if you don't, you get punished for it. And it's not like a, a tiny punish either. This is like a necessity in the matchup. You yeah, are right. eating 20% per C4. Yeah, right. And, like, sometimes they combo off the C4 too. Like, C4 kills really early. I would honestly like to see, like, a little bit more of, like, just, just some, like, run-up grabs from Booty. Because, like, if he's on the ground pulling the grenades, you know, it's, it's a good option. Yeah, just breaking Snake's zone is really important because it makes the Snake uncomfortable. The Snake's entire thing is he wants to set up and be comfortable. And if you let him set up and be comfortable, oh, that was really good coverage. Set up and be comfortable, then he's going to walk sure, all over yeah. you. And Which yeah. is why Snake with a lead is so dangerous. Right, yeah, I was going to say, this is exactly where Nick Roy wants him. Not gonna die to that up air, and that's huge. Cause every trade snakes get snake gets at like this point is like amazing for him. As long as he doesn't die. And another in another spot where he can just pick back air. Right. He goes for uh, another up air. And yeah, a lot of those like strong multi hit moves that have like weak individual hits, like those aren't gonna like break like hit him out of sight fair. But uh like the back air affair, like those those probably will. Mm. I think, I don't know if Fair does, but I think Backer does for sure. Yeah, Backer for sure. I, I was not as sure about that. A little late on that back, uh, dash back punish. I like Good that, smash. Yeah. Now remember, the C4 is on the little red right, yeah. part of the Pokemon bubble. And like, I like the way Nick Roy's positioning himself right now. He was kind of putting the C4 in front of him, so if Udi tried to approach, he could have detonated it. I feel like there's a lot of moments where he's just letting Nick Roy kind of do things like like press right. buttons and like in but some situations they're just they're not like the safest buttons you could just run up and and nair straight into it you're Politana. and you like know. yeah well, like i i the reason i've been saying like udi i think should be more aggressive aggressive is just because palu's like pressure and like like palu can hold advantage really well in this matchup that's one of her strengths i'd say in this matchup specifically well also just in general yeah and in like general but like juggling character yeah for sure but just like snake is like Kind of like that's one of his weaknesses. few weaknesses, you know, having that not the best disadvantage. Yeah. Snake's weaknesses are relatively few and far between, so you got to take them where you get them. Yeah, even then, his disadvantage is like tricky to play around, especially if you're not comfortable with messing with grenades. If you don't know it very well and you're not yes, paying attention yeah. to C4, you're gonna get messed up. Yeah, this will kill. Death. Yep. I honestly, you got to mash to get out of this, like mm -hmm. like hard, and using. Um, your analog stick to mash in this game just doesn't cut it anymore. You yeah. gotta use buttons. Yeah, for sure. Map an extra button. Uh, map either your X or your Y, whichever one you don't use to jump, to shield. That way you get more inputs as you mash. And yeah, this is, this is like, this is ideal for Snake, you know? This is where Snake thrives, when he gets that stock right. read. And that's gonna do it. Yeah, wow. What percent was he even at? Like, uh, he was at 78 before the hit, but then he ate 29 damage from C4 yeah, and a grenade. That's still ridiculous. I mean, and a grenade, too. Yeah. Gotta be careful of those grenades, because, uh, like, it doesn't seem like it adds up, but, like, I mean, four grenades is oh, yeah. 30%. Yeah, for sure. You know, so gotta be really, really, really aware of those. Yeah, not just, a, like, an excellent job by Nick Ray of just, like, once he got a lead, he did not let it go. And I think part of that does kind of fall on Udi, because if he was, like, if he, if he, got some openings and like like kind of forced his way in almost like I don't want to say forced his way in but like you know if you maneuver around snakes uh, grenades and stuff you can get in yeah. if he if he got the lead and got the advantage state, the camping thing he was doing was great but